We're back with part two of the biggest update for Madden 23 so far. Now, if you missed the previous video yesterday, I went over all of the changes to gameplay, all of the changes to franchise mode, ultimate team, the yard, and more. This is the biggest update that EA has put out so far for Madden 23. And in today's video, I'm going to be going over the second part of the update that's going to go over the presentation changes, the stadium changes, the new equipment that was added to the game, new helmets that were added to the game, new player likeness, and more. But I do want to say Say very quickly that the update that came out yesterday still doesn't seem to have fixed a lot of the issues that it was supposed to fix now in terms of gameplay it looks like the gameplay stuff for the most part seems to kind of hold true the blocking is a little bit better in, in some of these situations versus some of these blitzes but that's really not the biggest issue with the game the biggest issue with the game are the game modes specifically franchise and ultimate team that are still having a ton of issues I'm getting a lot of reports of people still not able to move forward in their franchises they're still seeing a lot of the same bugs they saw before and then in ultimate team we're still having a lot of the same issues with the field passes and rewards and games not tracking and certain things locking players out of the mode it's just really becoming frustrating that even after two months of the game being out and we've waited for these big updates that are supposed to fix all these issues to only find out that we're still dealing with all these issues and it really doesn't look like it's getting better so that's super frustrating to have to deal with but we are going to go over some of the other things that were updated with the game yesterday that we were not able to cover in yesterday's video and we're going to start with the player likeness updates we've got a few player likeness updates we've got Christian Barmore from the Patriots you're going to see a lot of second year guys and maybe a rookie or two it's always the young players that they're updating and getting these face scans for because they just weren't able to get them either at the combine or whatever the case so we also have Elijah Mitchell here I am kind of disappointed that the player likeness portion of the update was so small I thought they would be getting a lot more players in as we see Pat Fryermuth here, another second year player. Thought they would get more players in because there's still a ton of players who still need face scans like Najee Harris, Fred Warner, Darren Waller, some other rookie players, and more. We've got Andrew Booth Jr. here from the Vikings, but a very small player likeness update. I just feel like they could have done more here. Personally, we've got Willie Gay from the Chiefs as well. Another uh, you know, young player getting his face in the game. Now, they did mention Trent McDuffie in the notes on the website, but I believe his might have been put in in the last update. I can't remember exactly, but they did list them, so we're going to show them here. I also want to mention this really quickly because I've been seeing people bring it up for weeks. The Play Now Live is still on week one, and the ability to start a franchise right now in week six with the correct records and stats is not available anymore. And I did see a dev weeks ago say that they're not going to be updating this every week like they used to which to me just completely defeats the whole purpose of having it like why even have it on week one then if you're not going to update it but I thought that it was going to be something they updated you know every few weeks at least but it's week six now and this is still in week one so I know they're not updating it every week anymore so if you're waiting for that I just wouldn't wait for it but at this point I don't even know if they're going to update it at all because if they haven't updated it yet like when are they going to update it they also added the additional remaining alternate helmets to the game so here we can see the Eagles all black alternate helmet with the all black uniforms we also got the cowboys all white helmet that goes with their all white uniform so with the previous update we had most of the alternate helmets added we were still missing the cowboys the eagles and the jets which we'll get to in a second so we're showing these two right here also i don't know if they changed cd lamb's hair and gave him his red hair now i don't know if that was already in the game i'm not 100 sure but it is something i noticed that might have been added as well in the update they usually tinker with the player likeness and stuff like that now we're gonna look at the jets helmets and you might notice that we had to go to old gen here we're not on the new consoles i'm actually on the xbox one version of the game here and they also added all of the rest of the alternate helmets on old gen as well so like the saints helmets the texans all of those guys every alternate helmet should also be on old gen as well also you know like the player models on old gen just look so hilarious like they literally look like optimus prime like every player it's just weird i don't i don't understand it at all but we're on old gen so that we can look at the new jets helmet because if you go to new gen you'll notice that the Jets helmet does not work properly on new gen it's just a plain white helmet now I am on the Xbox Series X I think on PlayStation 5 it just doesn't show the new helmet at all it just shows the regular green helmet but I know on the Xbox version it shows a plain white helmet so we literally got three new helmets added to the game and one of them doesn't even work and I just do not understand how something like that happens but here we are now we're gonna look at some of the field changes we have the Cleveland Browns who got their updated field finally I'm not sure all 
all would change. I know that they have the new logo at center field at the 50 yard line. I know that's changed. I'm not sure if the turf has changed or if the end zone's changed at all. Not 100% sure. I just know the midfield is different, but looks nice. It's definitely up to date with what they have in real life. So it's good to see that their field has now been brought up to date in the game. We also got the new Steelers Stadium. Heinz Field is no more. Now, I'm not sure about all of the changes here. I just know that obviously it's been rebranded with the new sponsor of the stadium. So again, no more legendary Heinz Field. That's gone. And that, that's kind of upsetting. I, I, I hate that for Steelers fans. Heinz Field is just so legendary and it's no more in real life. And now it's no more in Madden. But just panning around the stadium, I don't know every single little change that happened here. I don't know if it's simply just the front where they have the new name and, you know, they removed the ketchup bottle, the classic ketchup bottle. And, you know, they changed the name inside the stadium with the new branding. I don't know if that's the only change, if there's some other things that have been moved around. So we're just panning around the stadium so you can get a look at what it looks like. We also got the Rams field gold post pads updated that was listed in the notes. So I don't remember what they looked like before, but this is the updated version. Now it said that in the Bears stadiums, the tarps have been redone to what they have now. I'm not 100% sure what the tarps mean. I think it's these things right here by the tunnel. I could be completely wrong. So if I'm wrong, let me know. But they did update that for the Bears. For the Eagle Stadium, they updated the tarps as well as the edge walls around the stadium. So again, I don't remember what they looked like before. I'm sure if you're an Eagles fan, you know exactly what they looked like before, but they have updated this around the stadium. So we're just panning around so that you could see the new edge walls, the end zone walls, the tarps, all of that has been brought up to date for the Eagle Stadium. And you know, the Eagles are killing it this year. So you definitely want to make sure that, that things are looking accurate and up to date in their stadium for those home games. For the Giants, it said that they also updated the edge walls of their stadium. That's another team that's actually doing really well this year. So you want to make sure everything's up to date. You know, players get on the game. They're fans of these teams. You know, they want the uniforms. They want the helmets. They want the stadiums to look like what they look like in real life. These things undergo changes. A lot of times EA is a little late with updating some of these things. The Giants stadium was one of them, but now it has been brought up to date. We also got some new equipment in the game. We got some new cleats. We got the Adidas Addy Zero Prime Knit. And forgive me if some of these things may have already been there. This is just what was written on the site. I'm not an equipment head, so I don't know 100%. This is just going off of what they had on the site. We got the Adidas Freak Cleats. That was another one that they had mentioned on the site that was new, added for uh, players. They also have the Adidas Freak Ultra, another new one that they mentioned in the blog notes on the website. We've got the Adidas Addy Zero, which you may notice is something else it is not working properly. This is clearly a Nike cleat. That's the wrong cleat. So again, it's like they put a few new things in the game and like there's one or two of them that for some reason don't work. Uh, we have the Nike Alpha Menace Elite 3 cleat. That's another new one that they had listed on the site. They also fixed the new helmets that they put in the game last update. So we had this one right here that Mahomes wears. And then we have the second version of it, which is the trench version. Something was wrong with the helmets, uh, the way they were sitting on the players. Like I think they might've been sitting too low. Like they were just kind of bugged out. So again, it's like we get new equipment. And then we got to wait for the next update for the equipment to even work properly. It's kind of ridiculous. So we also had new face masks at the last update. I don't remember which one it was, but one of them was just not there. It was like invisible. It would just be a blank, just open helmet. So that was fixed as well. So again, new equipment last update. Got to wait for the second update for it to finally work. They also added some other presentation and UI updates, which I'm popping up on the screen right now. A lot of these are kind of just little bugs that were in the game. I know a big one was the uh, blind spots and the cinematic version of the player lock camera. They did fix that. They also just fixed some other stability and UI bugs and presentation bugs that were in the game. So that's up on the screen right now. But yes, that is the biggest update of Madden 23. It contains a lot of content, a lot of fixes, but it still seems like a lot of the things that were supposed to be fixed are still broken for a lot of people. So people are very frustrated and kind of throwing their hands up with the game at this point, And I don't blame them. Now, if you happen to miss all the info from yesterday's update, you can check that video out right here on the screen right now.